Hey guys, it's Lena here, and in this video, I'm super excited to introduce you to Augmented Voices, Arturia's virtual hybrid voice and synthesis instrument. In this tutorial, I'll show you its unique features and explore some of the inspiring sounds you can make with it. Let's dive in. Augmented Voices is a modern hybrid software instrument that binds traditional and modern vocal sounds with forward-thinking synthesis. It does so by creatively fusing detailed vocal samples with modern synth engines, equipping producers with a comprehensive palette of pristine, intimate, and commanding voice sounds for modern production. From evocative human timbres through whispered textures and choirs, Augmented Voices will become your new go-to voice tool. Its unique morphing interaction of sampling and synthesis guarantees an endless flow of new tones and colors, allowing you to go beyond what's conventional and unlock enhanced hybrid sounds that are perfect for modern styles of music and sound design. Before we dive in, here are a few presets to give you an idea of how it sounds. Uh... Augmented Voices consists of two panels. First is the main interface, which features the expressive morph control, plus seven macro knobs that allow you to quickly change the nature of your sound in a few clicks, like this. Then there's the advanced panel that offers deeper sound design control, letting you access augmented voices two layers of sound based on any combination of sampling, granular, wavetable, harmonic, and virtual analog synthesis. Starting with the basics, the menu in the top left corner shows options like saving or importing presets, while the library lets you browse and sort your presets by categories, styles, and types. The Augmented Voices experience starts with exploring the main panel's macros. The central interface is built around the morph control and seven macro knobs, which let you make instant sweeping changes to tone, character, color, pitch, envelope settings, and many other parameters. Here's an example of how fast a sound can be reshaped by manipulating these controls. <laughs> Noting that the macros are individually set for each preset, so each sound has its own selection of settings for huge variety and experimentation. Layers are visually represented by the left and right visual textures, which correspond to the sample library and synth-based sound engines, respectively. In the center of the main page, the morph knob lets you morph through ever-evolving sounds in between the two layers, A and B. This sound is a good example of how the morph knob can drastically change the nature of our sound. Let's now play a few more interesting presets to see precisely how other macros impact the sound. By increasing the motion control, we can introduce tremolo and vibrato-like modulations, injecting interesting movement into the sound, like this. Oh. 
The color macro, on the other hand, can make the sound brighter or darker, often linking to the filter parameters of both layers, like this. The time macro controls how sounds change over time, ranging from slow to fast. On top of these creative controls, you can introduce delay and reverb to add a sense of depth and space to any patch. You can also add more effects per layer to further customize a preset to suit your own sound. For example, one preset can have a chorus on layer A and a phaser on layer B. So every time we morph between them, each side of the morph macro introduces its own extra effect, emphasizing the ever-changing nature of augmented voices sound. <laughs> That's it for the main page. Now let's focus on the exploration of the advanced panel, where the heart of the instrument is. This panel offers deeper access to layers A and B, modulations, arpeggiator, effects, and macro customization. The Layers tab features two sound generators per layer, giving you a total of four sound generators to use simultaneously. These come with their own dedicated VCAs, envelopes, and filters. You can arrange these engines in multiple ways, two synth engines per layer, two sample engines per layer, or one synth and one sample engine per layer, giving you three possible combinations in total. Let's listen to how these engines can sound. The sample engines are filled with rich, natural, and authentic recordings of various vocal sounds. These are real voices. Processed voices. additional samples. In the synthesis section, you'll find synth engines with custom presets made specifically to complement the human voice. Let's listen to a few of its sounds now. This selection of various sound generation methods will ensure that you have access to a variety of interesting timbres and textures to suit any style. The modulation page is where you can edit and control various aspects of the augmented voices built in modulators, like LFOs, functions, random generators, or keyboard behavior. Each of these comes with many parameters to allow deep and creative editing. The bottom bar displays every modulator and macro available in augmented voices, letting you easily create your own personal modulation routings. To create a routing, click on the desired macro or a modulator block inside the bar and drag your mouse over the destination parameter that you want to control, like this. Adding 
adding additional parameters to the morph or any other front page macro works in the same way. It's important to remember that on top of the default routings, the morph macro can control up to eight parameters from all over the instrument, while sound macros such as color, time, and motion can have six additional parameters attached to them. The color macro can control engines and filter parameters such as these. while time can control specifically VCA and filter envelopes and their parameters such as attack or release times. While the FXA and B macros can control four effects parameters such as dry wet or feedback of the layer effects with delay and reverb macros controlling the main delay and reverb. Next up, there's the arpeggiator page, which simply allows you to create and play rhythmical patterns and sequences. With this section, you can enable or disable steps and control velocity and the gate per step, add chords, as well as define the playback direction, time divisions, swing, and octave switching. The next page unfolds the effects section, which is divided into layer effects and main global effects, which are always delay and reverb. The layer effects are specific to their dedicated layers, while the global effects are applied to the output of both layers. Here's an example of two different effects affecting layer A and layer B. In the layer effects, each layer can hold two separate effects, allowing for four effects at once. In total, there are 14 available effects to choose from, from various reverbs, delays, to sound sculpting and modulation effects. The main effects section contains three types of delay and two types of reverb, each one as spacious as the next. The last page of the advanced panel is the macros page. This shows the current mapped parameters for each of the sound macros, color, morph, time, and motion, as well as reverb, delay, and FX macros. Here you can easily see which parameters are represented by each macro and also define the amount of modulation for each of them, as well as change their modulation curve. This means you can always be in control of what is being played and modulated on the front page of augmented voices, letting you easily change your mapped parameters and their values when needed. Before the end, let's play a few more presets to hear more of augmented voices sound. A 
And that's about it for this walkthrough. I hope this video showed you how creative augmented voices is and how valuable its sound can be for your own productions. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to Arturia's channel for more inspiring content in the future. Thanks for watching and see you soon.